and they're still chilling with your host with the most Tamkhala Kahuri sitting live next to my beautiful co-host Princess Brownie and yeah we have a beautiful guest in the building as well <laughs> can, can we say you're beautiful my brother? Uh, you can say I'm pretty hey we have a pretty blue in the building so what's your name my brother what do you do and what's going on? Oh, uh, I'm Lefatalene I'm here as your top 10 finalist for Mr. South Africa uh, usually I'm an actor. Usually, uh, usually I'm an actor. Yeah, exactly, I'm an entrepreneur too, mm. and a podcaster. Mm. Oh. Yeah, man. So I try to keep busy as much as I can. You know, success doesn't come to you while you're just chilling. So I'm trying to just go and get it. You are trying. Oh, what he said was really quite mm. important. He said success doesn't come to you. You gotta try and get it. I feel like is that why you are into a whole bunch of stuff? Um, that and it's on my creative side only. Yeah, like, yeah. So, um, yeah. I I do I do like uh creating and being creative. It's mm. it, it's my thing. I I don't I don't, like corporate stuff. I can do it, like the admins and such and such. But now and again, <laughs> where I thrive, where I thrive is by the art, and yeah, that's that's what I do. By the art. Yeah. So, so tell us. Why Mr. South Africa, you know, like, you know? Why? Um. Yeah, you know, you could just be a pretty gent and relax. <laughs> yeah, that's true, but no, that's, it's not who I am. True, tell us more. So, um, I've always had this thing of trying to help people out. Mm. So, I have a, a company uh, I, where I make and sell my own perfumes, uh, fragrances, colognes and such. Well, what are they called? Z perform. Z perform. Yeah. Right. So. So what what happens is I I make uh, make them and I sell them to people, mm. but on top of that, uh, I do sell in bulk so that people are able to sell for themselves. Oh, to redistribute just exactly. For themselves. Yeah. So. What I notice is that a lot of people are they can't just survive off of that so what i'm trying to do is create more jobs that's why i entered mr south africa mm. so how i'm gonna how, what my plan essentially is That's to what my plan is mm. is essentially to try and market small businesses and help them grow because so, when small businesses grow the economy grows, the economy grows no. more people exactly more people can get work and so forth man it's it's not that simple but it's a bit it's complicated a, it's more complicated than that but it's a step in some kind of direction into a better future mm. so in regards to that mm. that's your campaign that is my campaign you know i've already started marketing smaller businesses on my on my page even yesterday i was at a shoot for a business helping them grow and yeah it's like a lot of, a lot of things are already in motion so ah oh man if i can if i'm and i'm all of this is in motion while i'm just a top 10 finalist imagine what i can do when i'm actually that actually person. the mm. guy you know so with this I, I think it's like the best platform to just expose a lot of businesses and expose a lot of people to what they're doing because south africa has so many um, creative people in terms of trying to find better solutions to just everyday life i mean we, we are problems. a country filled with like a, a whole lot you know exactly especially man. the negative stuff um except on the book <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah man uh, yeah yeah man don't 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 get me started on that tom curry guy and hey, all those man. yeah <laughs> so so in general uh did you always do pageants and pageants were like your thing? Not even. Not even. Not, Not even. Yeah. So it's why I started this um this journey is because I was telling you about helping people. Mm. Um, so it's a calling, basically. It, for me, that's what it is. For me, it's like, okay, I saw, I've seen um the pre, the Miss Essays, actually. Let me be specific. The Miss Essays is, help yeah. people. Mm. So I'm like... Let me just go to the biggest um, pageant that I'm able to go to. And I'm like, <laughs> Mr. S.A., let's go. We can do this. And out of about, what, 60 people, I'm in the top 10 now. So I know I'm going in the right direction. Out of 60 people? Mm. I mean, 
at the beginning i'm sure they were way more <laughs> they just didn't make the exactly cut, so yeah. and i and i did and for my first pageant man like i just feel like this is your first pageant and you're it, a finalist exactly man i i'm i mean i'm not saying i did this on my own because yo i got lots of support i have to just shout, shout them out no, shout, honestly i mean i, I want to support honestly. i want to shout out in my family my friends i want to shout out in berlin i want to shout out Kwa Kwa. it's the places where my family is from yeah. i'm from Kwa Kwa. i'm from the free state so yeah man it's just i, I could not have been here without them it's it's just sure. it's so sure. humbling to be just be like yo guys you guys helped me to be to here. be here yeah that is insane to me like in terms of that kind of support or even telling your family or your friends mm. were they like what's the essay mm. like oh did they just go ah dog <laughs> they they <laughs> exactly they were like oh bro uh, it's time to get a six pack now it's time to be fit it's time to be a b c d <laughs> but i'm like yeah guys it, it is time for all of that um and i'm willing to put in the work and i've put in as much work as i possibly could to yeah. the point where even mentally sometimes i just feel weak for real for real man yeah i'm just thinking mr sa have your campaign ready uh mm -mm. skin routine on point mm -mm. then you're the man yeah i mean it's a part of it i mean you mm -hmm. have to look good to some capacity i mean even when you enter they say just have a healthy build What's healthy build? <laughs> healthy build is could be anything, you know. True. I true. mean, like sumo wrestlers is a healthy build. Is there... You know what I mean? So yeah. a healthy build could be anything as long as now you're looking fit. It's not like you know, nim by all the way there and then <laughs> you're skinny everywhere else. Yeah. You know, so you just look like you've been in the gym and you exercise and so forth. So. I mean, it's not that crazy. Not like, so mm. basically, that's basically the criteria is just the uh, healthy build. Um, mm. What else? Uh, I can't remember. I, don't know, I feel mm. like I want to join next year, you know? Join, <laughs> bro, join. Because I'm not even like being, I'm not telling you jokes. I'm telling you to actually join. It's, don't I'm not. I'm not a gatekeeper. Out, hit me gatekeeper. up, hit me up. You have my number. Yeah. Yeah, hit me up if you need some help or anything, man. Just... Yeah, enter, man. It's possible, man. It's you know, possible. don't ever limit yourself. I was, I also thought like, ah, these things, these pageants, you know, they're for like people who are tall, who are massive. Yeah, and yeah. Then people who are buff, and then like, like ah. When you bruh. pulled up, I thought you were probably like six five. Right? <laughs> 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 uh, hey, hey, six five boots. Not even, like... not even, bro. I'm just an ordinary guy. I'm slim. I, I won't lie. I was unfit for, or I've been unfit for most of my life. So this is the first time of just being even aesthetically lookable uh, yeah appealing <laughs> exactly <laughs> that's the proper term but yeah it's 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 been so it's does, been so crazy does yeah. it not come with like a lot of pressure you know like hey, oh man Dude, everything comes with pressure everything, everything comes, comes with, pressure. with pressure there's nothing that's just like uh no soft life here you go boom easy Mm -hmm. I mean, like you, you hear, you have a radio show. Everything that you do, you have to make sure people are here on time. You have to organize everything. My brother. Everything. I mean, people think that you come to the radio show and just speak and have fun and laugh with people, hey, but it's not like that. It's more to that. Exactly, <laughs> bro. Exactly. So uh, you make it seem easy. Honestly, you make it seem easy, <laughs> but it's not. It really so uh, that's the key to just anything. You have to make. Anything that you're doing, make it look easy. Yeah. And then people will be like, oh, no, he's really good at whatever he's he doing. Does, yeah. And like, I, I I wonder how he's doing it. And then, yeah, man, it's the pressures, they may, they're there. They make time. <laughs> exactly. Okay. I, I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> so in terms of that pressure part, right? Mm. So obviously we would expect you, do, do you feel like you're expected to act a certain way now that you are contestant in, in the mr essay um i'll never change who i am so i'll never who you were is still who you are yeah, you know, exactly. you know i gotta act differently because now yeah I'm on I, TV. <laughs> exactly no i can't i can't change who i am if i do it's it's not gonna end well for anybody so the only thing that i've done is just to improve myself essentially and to make myself um 
I don't know, maybe more marketable. Um, maybe change some vocabulary, improve some vocabulary, <laughs> but never, never change who I am fundamentally at my core. Mm. Never fundamentally change who you are. Exactly. So, so in terms of like being Mr. SA, mm. is it in a way trying to say like the perfect South African man? No, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I will. So what, 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 no. would, what would you say like it entails in, in general? Because what kind of uh man you should be being in I, Mr. Essay? I think just be the best role model you can be. Yeah. Best role model yeah. you can possibly be. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you can't be a perfect guy. Yeah, yeah, you a p- perfect person. No, no, no. I mean, if they were expecting that from us, uh, no one would ever win in here so i think well what they expect of you is to be a, a leader of of men of men basically. exactly exactly i mean i'm not like a warrior i'm not gonna just come out here and tell you i'm a warrior whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> i was expecting you to go all oh, spartacus <laughs> no 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 yeah, gladiator down no man inspire everybody to go to war <laughs> no, no not even man so the way i'm i'm approaching it is that i'm just trying to um lead the generation below me mm. and because essentially when you're growing a small business you're not growing it for myself basically. for myself or people older than me mm. i'm growing it for when the younger generation comes in they have places to work and places to mm. to 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 grow in and and that's that's the plan you know i i see every day it's like i see my little brother he, we live together yeah and it's like bruh he's gonna finish his high school he's gonna finish his tertiary and then he's gonna struggle to find work the same way i did oh my god so you did oh that's where your inspiration came from exactly right? so, exactly. so you were trying to go to corporate and everything else and I, it didn't work yeah i was start, uh, studying uh droughting uh so, like technical drawings almost like architecture yeah but not exactly architecture mm. so i was trying to i was looking for work for but well, like a year or two Ooh. and i kind of what just stopped and what, what does it do to you you know like you have the degree you have a skill for what you stand for and all mm. you need is just a job to express yourself like what does it do to you as a man basically to yeah. not have means to provide for yourself while you're making efforts to yeah. try to you know have you ever felt more useless than toilet paper bruh that's what it feels like (laughs) you know toilet paper in your own house has more use than you so it that like just think about just the mental the mental effort just to keep sane and to be cheerful and to never give up and sit in front of your laptop and Putting your CVs out and out and out over and over, just emailing everybody and just getting no reply or rejections. Ooh. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah, uh, it hurts. I, I can imagine. It hurts. Would you Would you feel like that's why South Africa is such like a in such a bad state? You know, like especially mentally, because like mm. mental health in terms of like the male space mm. is not really discussed a lot. Do yeah. you feel like that's why a lot of men are not coming out in that regard? I wouldn't say that's the root cause because, mm. I mean, the root cause of men not speaking to each other is because men don't want to speak to each, each other. other. Mm. I'd say um, the effects of unemployment, what that causes is the f- um, a lot of anger towards people Besides, yeah. and you you grumpy all the time you're depressed it mm. leads to suicide Ooh. some people just go out and start falling into the wrong habits wrong. other people are like okay i'm not gonna go into the wrong habits but i'm gonna start committing crimes because what am i gonna do for a living for a living franchise. exactly yeah. so it it does lead unemployment leads to a lot of things I so can, i can only I mean, I'm not saying that I'm going to come out here and fix everything, but, but I'm, you, you're on I'm the trying. Route, you know, you're trying yeah. to spread a message that, hey, guys, yeah. let's, let's get businesses up and running within exactly. South Africa and people can get a job, get a permit. Exactly. I feel more useful than a toilet Than paper. toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, in terms, so, so in terms of, like, your journey, right, mm. which part would you say was like more of a crazy segment for you in the competition i mean 
I can imagine that you guys are getting interviewed, you're going around, yeah. you know. Which part of that whole journey was it was hard for you? The hardest. Yeah. I think it, it would definitely be uh it was before they were before they announced the top ten. Mm. Bro, my anxiety was off the roof. Gone, gone, gone. I actually even had a panic attack. My um yeah. I was like just sleeping in bed. Um and then I was sweating, chest compress compressing <laughs> and I was just like, nah. It was insane, bruh. I even had like I had to ask my little brother to just to read to me, just to calm me down. <laughs> it was intense. Quite intense. Mm. So when they announced that I was into the top ten, Ooh. all of that, all of that anxiety just just came all the way down. Like, just it flooded out. I started crying. Like I was not, I wasn't, I was, I was not pretty that day. <laughs> I tried to be, but yo, it was crazy. So I think that would be definitely be just the hardest currently, but just before they announce the top ten. Yeah. Mm. My goodness. Uh, but yeah. let's say let's go back to I would say twelve year old you. Okay. What would you say right now? Like you're in this essay. I would say this thing is for girls. Oh, for really? sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I'm like, why are you walking like that? Why are you doing all of that? That's so weird. Like, that was... Wait, wait. I just thought you guys just walk normally, you know? No, you gotta... You know, when you do the walk, when you walk on stage, it's like, oh, yeah. You Which gotta... walk? Like the walk you do yeah. when you're about to approach a girl? Or no, not, not that. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> no, man. Like, you know, the runway walk, you know? So, yeah, I think 12-year-old me would be very shocked that i'm doing this he would i think i would even be shocked even as to my intentions as to why as to why would you even want to do this you know i think back then i was i wasn't i won't lie to you i wasn't the biggest fan of school i, yeah. I just wanted to go outside play soccer and then that that's my whole day that was your dream basically the, exactly psl barclays <laughs> I didn't, not even PSL, not even Barclays, just play, <laughs> just play. There was no dream of doing anything bigger. I was just always in the moment, just go play on the grass, go play on the sand, go play on the concrete, whatever, just go have fun. I just, I was a big fan of fun, I guess. It's just, oh my, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, so, do, so. Do, you, do you feel like you bring fun to the competition? Like, you know, because, you know, like, I'm thinking about myself. Mm. I Watching Mr. Essay is like, dude, mm. I would rather watch Mrs. Essay. Yeah, well, it makes sense. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> like, how, how do you guys like believe you can grow the the viewership or the space for people to actually be interested in Mr. Essay? Because like you're speaking mm. uh, uh good facts about why you're doing it. You know, mm. you know, trying to ensure that the men in society mm. don't feel like useless to toilet paper right yeah so how do you get especially men because i feel like it's more for men than for women or am i wrong it's for anybody man it's for everybody it's for everybody yeah because in terms of like um what do you call this uh the campaigns that you guys have mm. it's usually targeted at like hey oh, i want this for society and mm. it's, it's like from a male perspective mm. like the way oh okay yeah. yeah i mean it's it's true in that sense it is true in that sense but the way i'm approaching it um, in the cause that I'm fighting for, it's for everybody. So everybody. It's for true. everybody. Yeah, that's not true. Um, so yeah, I'm growing Mr. SA, growing the actual platform, man. It's, mm. it's, it's already such a huge platform. Mm. But I, I don't know. I believe that I, I can grow it. I'm not gonna lie to you. The fact that I've, I'm here, top ten. I've already <laughs> been first pageant. First pageant, I've been on TV shows, I've been on all sorts of interviews. I think that I do have the ability to grow it. And yeah, I, I'm not, I mean, I don't want to, um, uh, what you call, discard what the other, what the other gentlemen are doing. Because, mm. yo, they're doing great. Not everybody's doing fantastic. Yeah, man, yeah. everyone is killing it. But yeah, man, I think I, because I'm the youngest, I feel like... You're the youngest? Mm. Uh, yeah, I'm 25. I just turned 25 on the 12th of October. Eesh. Yeah. 
Yeah. Life gets serious. Hey, life is getting serious. Life is getting <laughs> for real. Yeah, <laughs> yeah oh, man. man. So, so in promoting uh. Mr. Essay, do you feel like it's your duty to have that natu- natural patriotism, you know, pride in South Africa, not just Boca because they live in uh, Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, like anyone in South Africa, I th- I feel like every South African is a patriot. Mm. I mean, you can ask even people who've left South Africa always come back to South Africa. No I, like home. There's exact exactly that. There is literally no place like home, despite all of the issues that we're going through. And it's a lot. Yeah. It's just a lot, mm. and like people will still prefer this. Mm. Over anything else in the world, people people who've traveled the world will tell you, South Africa is the best country, country in the world. world. Geologically, bruh, the people, hey, bruh, the weather, <laughs> the vibes. You know, no, you know, no serious earthquakes. No, <laughs> <laughs> just that ride. <laughs> hey, also, hey, doing, hey, KZN, man, hey, guys, you going through it, hey, like, bruh. Are you are you from um? Urban originally? No, I'm from Kwakwa Free State. Free State. So free you standing up for the Free State? Yeah, man, standing up for Free State. Shout out to Free State, Shout man. Shout out, Your man. Your boy is on site. <laughs> exactly, man. I'm just trying to put my city on. <laughs> to put my city on. <laughs> like, well, what's the... Going back to, like, uh, you being young, what's the... What's the memory you can share about Free State that just makes South Africa, like, like um, beautiful? So I didn't grow up in Free State. Mm. But I was I was born there. Oh, he's yeah. just like me. I'm from Limpopo, but not really like that. But not really. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but hybrid Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, my my grandmother lives there. I, I still visit her like from time to time. Like yeah, I I just love the vibes there. Every time I go there, it feels like, it feels like home, man. You know, especially because my grandmother's there. I love my grandmother. Shouts out my Eno. Shout out to grandma. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's dry. Yeah, it's dry, it's hot, but also in the winter it snows sometimes. It was yeah, yeah man. Snow snow? Yeah, I, like my grandmother, she sent me a picture of it snowing. I can't remember if it was last year or this year. Yeah. But it was snowing. I was like, Grandma, are you in Toronto? <laughs> 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 that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Toronto, yeah. Man. Yeah, man. Like, it was so crazy. The snow was so heavy. Like, I wish I was there at that time. I've never been in snow. Even when I was snowing, I was snowing here in Joburg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, 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 so you haven't made a snowman, my brother. Oh, never in my life. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you're from where the snow hits, right? You know? Man, you know. I am a snow angel. Maybe it's because I'm so hot. Like, I changed <laughs> oh, the weather. Oh, 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 oh,
and on then live on it. Yeah, I'm not scared, guys. <laughs> um, stay away from me. With love, though. With love, though. Stay away from with me. With love, though. Love. Yeah, I'm. I'm not trying to be distracted. I'm trying to just focus on mm. one goal. Have one goal in mind, and it's just to be the best me I can be and do the things what I that I can do for you know the youngins. The yeah man, yeah man. Stay away from women. <laughs> Stay away from me though. You yeah. can you, maybe you guys can do whatever you want. <laughs> Go find your love. I don't I'm not opposed to love. Are you are you are you Mr. South Africa with an actual ring? What do you mean, like married? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not married. <laughs> yeah, the people have to find out. Oh, no, no, no. Because, hey, Mr. Sarabki is on, why not, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm still waiting for marriage. I'm looking for the right one. Still looking for yeah. Mr. Sarabki, I'm st- <laughs> <laughs> That was smart. <laughs> I had to, you know, uh-huh. you were a young one, you know? So, so uh, being Mr. South Africa, you know... Mm. You don't only just represent yourself, you know. South Africa is yeah. quite a diverse nation. We have like uh. twelve languages. Yeah, twelve now. Hey, shout out to sign language. Yeah. Hey? yeah, I mean they can't hear me, obviously, but I'm doing the sign language thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, considering that we are, um, what's the word? Diverse. How do you uh. plan to promote diversity in South Africa? Because especially now. Near elections, we get mm. really polarized. Good team, hey, this and that, hey, that's and that, and we all just want Ubuntu to just prevail, no? Um, yeah, yo, how do you represent diversity, man? Um. It's yeah, that's a deep one, but mm. I think that, um, just who I am now is is, is a is a showing of how diverse South Africa is. Mm. Um, Explain more. Um, so, I'm from Kwa Kwa. Mm. I speak so too. My mother's from Ingoleni. I speak Kosa. Whoa. I was raised in Gauteng. I speak English. Spitori, uh, Guys, here, wait. Spitori is... Ah! Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> hey, Spitori is a tough one. I'm not gonna lie. It's its own... <laughs> I think Spitori is gonna be it's th- the thirteenth language. Uh, <laughs> like it's that it's that deep. <laughs> yeah, that deep. <laughs> it's that deep. But yeah, and then of course I was raised. Um, I grew up in like a lot of Afrikaans speaking schools. Mm. I mean, I'm not gonna say I can speak it fluently because I I, yes. I forgot yeah, a lot of it. Yeah, this Yeah, I know. But I was by a more funder. Yeah, it's like it, ne. But yeah, man, I think. Um, every South African um, does represent some sort of diversity. Mm. Um, we have people that speak Vendas. There's people who speak languages that are like not even in the 11 or, fi- or 12 official mm. languages mm. in South Africa. We have people from overseas speaking Mandarin or Swahili so here and there, Yoruba. Like, Mm. South Africa is crazy diverse. I think if you are South African, you already represent diversity in some way. In yourself. In yourself. You can basically yeah. fit in anywhere in the in world. In anywhere. In the world, literally. Mm. Because, I mean, think about how we've we've grown up in, um, in a diverse uh, generation. Mm. Like, it, I don't think it takes much for us to adapt into a new environment. True. Exactly. I mean, outside of just you know the usual habits, but I think that if if you wanted to, uh, let's say, go live in the like the UK, I think it would be so easy for you to just chow. To just chow, just about exactly. Everything. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Here on Unisa Radio, uh-huh. we are just local, my brother. So, yeah. so I gotta ask a question for uh-huh. you know the Oregon people. Okay. So I gotta <laughs> ask, like, what would you? How would you draw them in? Yeah. Besides the diversity that we have, you know? The overseas people. Yeah, the Urkans. I mean, the know, listeners from like Germany really? and so Really? So, oh, so, I so, didn't yeah. even so know. So what, what would be like the main tourist attraction you would be like, yo, guys, come through, you know? Besides diversity, we okay. have more. Yeah, especially for where you're from, you know? Go Li- on. Literally. Mm. All you have to do mm. is spend a night out. 
anywhere. A night out. A night out. It doesn't have to be groove, but it mm. can be groove. I've heard Americans say that yo, our groove is unlike anything they've ever experienced Experience. before. My I mean, I, I think our night our nightlife is like crazy, especially in Joburg. I'm not sure about Cape Town, but I feel like Cape Town's also crazy. Also but crazy. I mean, I've, it's, it's, it's all in its Yeah, really. I, I, I've heard stories, I've heard so many stories, especially from my friends. I've never spent a night out here, I'm not a groovist, unfortunately. I love my space, man, I love, I love home. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. Now you say that, right, I'm trying to figure mm. out, like, what's the day in the life? For me? Yeah. Yo, for Mr. South Africa, currently, yeah. um, we it's... have six socials. It's yeah, wake up, check socials. Um, what can I do to promote myself? What can I do to promote Mr. South Africa? So so you have a team around you? Yeah, friends and family. Literally those the people who've been they... supporting me, though that is my that is literally Where's my team. team. Yeah. Like they will come out the blue and say, Um, Usban Ban has this and that for you. Come check it out or are you interested? And I'm saying, yes, I'm interested, let's go. And let's we go and get it, and we get it done efficiently because I love working fast. I don't like, you know... The... Building, dadling, no, you know, no, 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 no. If, if there's something that needs to be done, I need it to be done now. Oh I mean, yes, I mean, we were speaking... When did uh, you... Uh, you contacted me last, last week. week. Yeah, yeah, last week, yeah. Literally that whole week, I was doing something every day. This is my, my, my first... And then I have to, you know, organize every single day in my calendar and say, this is what's going to happen today. This is what's going to happen today. This is... I must go eat. It's lit. No okay. care. <laughs> 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 but yeah, man, it, that's my day. That's, um, that's the day in my life currently. Mm. Currently. So um, I hope that it stays like this and it's moving in the right direction. direction. We'll only know at the destination if I was moving in the right the direction. direction. True. So. What happens? Mm. You know, you know that that's your favorite Kanye West line. Mm. Everyone wanna ask, what would I do if I didn't win? Uh. Or should we say that question for after you win? <laughs> <laughs> um. Yes, you can actually. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, okay. No, I'm joking. Right <laughs> right right yeah, man. But if if I do happen to not win, um, I just hope that I can continue with what I've been doing so far so, in, in promoting small businesses well, and mm-hmm. trying to help them grow. And um, yeah, I mean, like I have a podcast where I um, explain uh, the news of the week. I don't podcast every day. So like uh, business type of stuff? Or just business things? type of stuff, yeah. economy kind of stuff. I don't like talking about uh, natural disasters and crime yeah. that happened here, there. Because that, that's pretty much your niche, basically, just yeah. to talk about. Yeah. You're very passionate about that. Yeah, I it's am. A, it's a calling. I wouldn't say it's a calling, I, but... I feel like the entrepreneur bug bit you, and now you just want everyone else to get bitten by it. I don't actually... I actually that's not actually what I want. What I mm. want is for... Because I... I understand that being an entrepreneur is hard, bruh. It's hard. Like, it's not easy. Like, there are days where I'm just like, dude, let me look for a job. But then I'm helped by the fact that South Africa's unemployment is so bad that I can't even just be like, let me just go get a job Job. and work. So So it just gives you more time for your own dreams, basically. Exactly. So I just do my best and just... and, and, And try to help people the best way I can and make myself useful in this society. So, considering that you want to be Mr. South Africa, like, mm-hmm. everybody is probably wondering which kind of, which men actually inspire you to be a better man? Oh, yeah. that's a good question. Um, I try. <laughs> <laughs> Who inspires me? Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say I I'll say my dad inspires me a lot. Mm. Um, yeah, he works like all the time. Like it's hard to get that man like some free time to see him in some free time. But I, I like his work ethic is 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 really out there. Uh, I mean, not a man, but my mom. Yeah, she's like still inspiration. Still yo, inspiration, yeah. like 
you have no idea like the lows that she's been through mm. and she pushes harder she pushes like 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 she's she's going crazy like you wouldn't think that like you know how like i i, I was speaking about the anxiety attacks that was happening before yeah if if um i was my mom i would have had them a hundred times over like she's that strong so she definitely inspires me um yeah yeah man i mean those are essentially it i try to not um I mean, not that I don't want to be inspired by people, but I don't want to be influenced by people. I try to um, think and be creative um, for my own brain. I mean, I'll pick up um, certain things here and there, mm. but if you're speaking about inspirations from different people, I, I, I really don't really have a person that I can definitely be like, hey, that guy inspires me. Mm. But definitely my parents, man. So, in terms of like raising social issues, right? Uh, you guys tend to go do a lot of um, charity work, okay? Like yeah, awareness stuff. So, can you explain some that you've been engaged with? Um, I don't really. I mean, yeah, I've done some charity, but it's not my niche, you know. Because mm. I told you before, my niche is to help small businesses. Mm. Um, I would I, maybe I'd say that's my charity because I do market for biz, for some business businesses for free. Hey, yeah, where, <laughs> where do we get services, man? Damn, freebie. Uh, freebie, yeah. like a freebie. <laughs> so yeah, man, I do try to help and promote some businesses for free. Or if they sometimes it, like they're so kind, they just like have a product or enjoy our service for free and you it's know, like oh okay you did wow the most, you, know yeah, you did the most so we have this for free and i'm like oh guys oh, thank you so much so in regards to like the competition right mm. so I see to you know, in regard to the competition um when should people expect it taking place or is there voting available right now what's going on Voting is still open. Mm. Um, you can vote for me. You can vote for me on my social medias. Uh, it's Lefa Taleni L E F A T A L E N I. On oh L E F A. That's Lefa Taleni T A L E N I. On every social media platform and on every social media platform, uh, the voting link is there. And mm. on top of that. Also, the uh, ticket links are also there. To the show. To the actual show. It's in Midrand at Waterworld. Uh, it's going to be lit, man. Already, it's about over 50% um, capacity, capacity, capacity sold out. Mm. So, get your tickets quick, guys. It's... I see Ella comes up there. It's chat. <laughs> <laughs> it's chat. We all there. Yeah. Speaking of music, mm. what, what kind of music do you like, man? You know, like, people just... Gotta know you, you know? I like everything. And I when I say that I really mean that I like everything. Even yeah, like the know. weird stuff. Um even like the other day I was listening God, to I, I love that. Know. I love that. That's like my guilty playlist because I don't <laughs> I don't want people knowing that I that, you know I'm listening to Cop Dane and it was like oh no no no. Oh, but but a bit yeah, of rock, a bit of reggae. A bit of rock, even classical music. I love classical music oh, too. Okay. Like it's easy, a bit of jazz too. Ooh. Yeah, man. Uh, it's like, yeah, uh, I'm like a I fan of music. You, I, can't, I can't really box you. Uh, why do you want to box me? <laughs> I don't know, man. Everybody, you know, seems to mm. like a box. And um, you're more like on the creative side, so you're always just trying to like... Uh, ah, man, you know, I'm just a guy. I feel like people... People, everyone is diverse. There's no person who's going to say, if you like my piano, there's no way you're going to be like, I, I don't want to listen to anything else. If you like piano, <laughs> you know, you probably like house. You probably like a bit of gum. A bit of know, quiet. A bit of quiet. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's derived from that. It's, yeah, yeah, it comes from different things. It's just a product of those things. Mm. So, yeah, if you... there is, I, I don't like putting people in boxes because... We're all everything. We're all a type of person. Maybe we're just more of one emotion or more of one type than another. 
but mm. yeah i think um everything's everything everybody is everybody <laughs> <laughs> so why choose why vote for me i'm trying to do something for the youth man um mm. I'm doing something for the kids. Uh, I think one a, a story that um, that kind of like really edged me on to this path is remember there was this whole Latuzi thing walking around in Mall of Africa. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and yeah, man, yeah, man. Everyone, everyone is like, ah, I'm, you know, these kids, they just being bad, mis misbehaving yeah, and doing, and and, you know, they're yeah. doing ABCD. But when you think, when you think, and when you think about all of these things, it's like, what are these kids supposed to do? I mean, they barely have parks and places to be in mm -hmm. um they don't have after school activities bro they're canceling all they, the stuff exactly bro. you know most of the stuff is geared towards people who can buy the stuff what about you know the kids what are they supposed to be doing with their spare time bro so that, that's, it, that's that's what kind of just motivated me to be more geared towards the youth and just trying to you know um not i'm not saying that i'm going to inspire them because they can have their own inspirations from yeah, wherever I'm they right want to <laughs> <laughs> but what i do want to say is i don't want them to not have anything mm -hmm. when they're in my position mm -hmm. uh, at some point because they will get to the age of 24 25 okay. and yeah exactly <laughs> so uh, i just want them when they get to where to my age it's like they have some kind of direction that they want to go into. Mm. Mm. So, when it's all said and done, mm. what do you like? What would Lefa to be remembered as? Besides mm. the essay, if you do it. Um, the guy that, um, the guy that, uh, that tried to change uh, people's mindsets. Basically. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. Something That's me. <laughs> S A mm. finalist. Finalist. Yes. Finalist. Yeah. So to the young boys trying to enter the competition, what do you gotta say? Enter now. Don't hesitate. Don't enter. hesitate. Enter now. Entries are even open now as we speak. So enter right. now. Hey Raj. Enter now. Hey Raj, you wanna join? with that um can you please repeat your socials and where people can vote for you again my socials are l e f a t a l e n i that is lefa Daleni on all social media platforms instagram twitter uh facebook mm. and I'm sure I I think Reddit too. I'm on Reddit too, but uh, no one uses Reddit, so hey, yeah. An essay. <laughs> An essay, anyway. So the ones that are overseas, yeah, you guys can hit me up on and, Reddit. On Reddit. <laughs> but yeah, um, all all of my voting links are there. Uh, the ticket links are there too on my profiles. So yeah, guys, I uh, hope to see some people there. I hope to see you guys there. You too. Hey man, I hope you gotta, to see do, the you gotta yeah. do the most. It's on a Saturday, so I know you guys are not doing anything. <laughs> I know you're not doing anything, so hey, come through. Hey, there's a lot of groups going on right now. No, 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 not that day. That day we're shutting down everything. We're shutting down for Mr. Essay. That's yeah. never in the building. I mm -hmm. suppose for me. Why not? I'm pretty. I'm <laughs> joking, <laughs> no. as me. But yeah, he wants to help the society, yeah. you know. Especially the, the youth in terms of business and grow in that space, you know, because... Mm. We have to be more useful than a toilet paper. Company. Exactly, man. Which is what he said. What would you like to say to people? Shout out anybody, mama. Uh, shout out the fam, man. Shout out the fam. Shout out the friends, man. Shout out to everybody who's got me to this point. Shout out to they them. all know who they are. I, I always thank them every day. I always thank them when I speak to them. So thank you to you guys. That is it from yeah. Mister Sa and your lunchbox team. We are wrapping it up. It's your boy, Tamakalo, the host with the most princess as well ah yeah what a great day right. thank you essay. and we wish you all the best obviously no thank you so much you man. Know, thanks for having me hey, too take that trophy take that trophy yeah, home yeah, yeah it's coming home man it's, it's coming, coming home, home. <laughs> it's coming home hope the people of Kuruman are ready for you so 
It's the Lunchbox. We are signing out. Hope you enjoy the U-turn and drive safely on the mic. Oh, I almost forgot. My boy Rach in the building. You know. <laughs> <laughs> My boy Rach in the <laughs> building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, goodbye, my people. Drive safe on the road. It's hot. Hydrate. Do the most. Mm -hmm. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>